Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be showing you three different looks in case you have any holiday parties coming up or get togethers or even what to do on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve if you're getting together with family and friends. Today I'm going to be using my brand new professional styling iron and this is by Duval. I'll leave all the information down below in the description box, so please be sure to check that out. I am in love with this new styling iron. There are a number of different ways you can style your hair. If you are familiar with using flat irons, then you obviously know that you can not only straighten your hair, but you can also wave your hair or curl your hair, which is amazing. Now, I have always <laughs> struggled with trying to get the right curl, because you really have to have like the right wrist placement, the arm placement, the hand placement, and so I have finally figured out a really easy way for myself to have like the perfect wave or the perfect curl so hopefully I can help you out if you are still struggling to use a flat iron to add a little bit of curl to your hair the iron came nicely packaged in this box here it's very nice I've actually kept this box to put my flat iron back in when I'm storing it and not using it and so inside here it just pops open and it's got this nice little compartment for the iron and then the iron also came with a glove. If you are not used to flat ironing your hair, you definitely want to use one of these because you will burn your fingers until you can get the process down right. And then the company also sent me one of their detangling brushes. I actually have one of these, not from this brand, but I have another detangling brush that I use for my daughter's hair and I absolutely love it. But what I love about this particular brush is that the bristles are a little bit more firm than the other one. And I love the way this takes out all the tangles from my hair. I use it before and after I take a shower and I also use it when I'm styling my hair. And finally, here is the flat iron itself. I have it plugged in right now and it's a sleek black and silver color and it's got the curved edge here on the plates and then here are the buttons this is the power button and you can see there are five different temperature settings the lowest one being 270 and then the highest being 450. my first look i'm going to do is i'm just going to go over my hair and straighten it a little bit and then kind of curl the ends under and then the second look i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of wave and then the third look i'm going to do is put in a little bit more curl and with each look, I'm going to put together an outfit idea for any of your holiday parties that you have. One that's going to be really casual, another one that's going to be a little bit more dressed up, and then the other one is going to be glam. So I hope you guys enjoy and then keep watching if you are interested in learning these three looks. So I'm going to just go ahead and start brushing my hair. And then when I straighten my hair with a flat iron, I don't separate it with a clip or anything. I just use the brush to hold my hair and then I run the flat iron through just one or two times and then I curve it in the bottom just a little bit so that my hair looks polished and not crazy like this side. And then with my bangs, I pull them all forward and then I straighten them all together down the middle and then I use my hands to flip them out. So I'll run the flat iron through one more time with the bangs and a little bit of the longer pieces of hair so that it kind of flows together. And then I just soften the ends a little bit more. And then with this hairstyle, I went with a little bit more casual outfit. I have this sweater, knit sweater by Banana Republic, paired with this vest, and then the jeans are also Banana Republic. And then I just got these new shoes. These are Michael Kors. I love these new shoes. They have a little bit of wedge in the back. This is great if you need to go to the mall and do some Christmas shopping, or you're just getting together with friends casually, or maybe you're gonna go out and pick up your tree. This is a really great outfit for that because it's comfy, casual, and still cute. And so this is the next day. My hair still looks really good, I feel like, from straightening it. I haven't done anything to it except for sleep. And obviously I did my makeup already, but since I'm going to wave my hair with the flat iron, I like to section it. I'm gonna take half of my hair up and then I start in the back and I take these little sections and I like to hold the flat iron above my head and then turn it one time away from my face. I hold the piece of hair in my hand so it doesn't fall down and then I slowly run it through and then I leave about an inch and a half at the end and then as you can see here it's a very loose wave and I like to twist it um, in my hand to help that curl a little bit so again turning it away from my face twisting it at the end leaving about an inch and a half at the end 
I'll show you here quickly. Twist it once, hold it in my hand, run it through, inch and a half, and then again, twist. And it's a very loose, wavy curl. So then on the other side, I like to hold it out with my thumb on the outside, and that way it helps me to turn the flat iron away from my head. And then I just twist it once. And as you can see, I like to run my hair really smoothly through the flat iron. I don't twist it. It's just, it doesn't look as good of a curl if the hair is all twisted. And so again, here, away from the face, an inch and a half, and then help it twist. And as you can see, the curls are thick and soft and just a wave, not a super tight curl. And then I like to run my fingers through a little bit. And then I'm going to take the rest of my hair down, split it down the middle, brush it out. And then it's the same process all the way through my hair. I like to do all of my hair away from my face. So this is my left side. I just twist it once again, hold it into a half and then pull it through. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my hair. And once again, my bangs, it's the same process. I take a little bit of the long pieces along with my bangs and then flat iron it together, again, away from my face, giving it just a little bit of a curl. And you can see here, it's just a soft twist. Same thing on the other side. And then I like to run my fingers through my hair. I don't like to use a brush because I feel like my hair just gets super frizzy when I use a brush. And then I like to take whatever is still kind of straight, I like to take the flat iron, run it through just the top part and make it have a little bit more of a wave on top. And as you can see here, it did add a lot more body. And then with this hairstyle, I went ahead and paired it with this oversized kind of sweater dress. You can wear it off the shoulder. I got this from Boohoo. And this is great for a girl's night during the holidays. If you are getting together with old friends that you haven't seen and you want to look really cute, maybe you guys are meeting out at a really nice restaurant or a bar, or maybe you have a date night with your special someone and you want to look a little sexy, but it's a little cold out, so you don't want to be cold. But pairing it with these thigh-high boots, um, it has a platform. These ones I got from Nordstrom's but this sweater with these boots even if it's cold out it's gonna keep you nice and warm and cozy while you still look good Now this third look, I am coming off of freshly washed hair last night, but you can definitely work with dirty hair. Again, I section it halfway through, and then it's the same process, but with these curls, I like to turn the flat iron twice. So I'm getting a really nice curl through the hair. As you can see here, the curl is a lot more prominent than the other one. The other one was more of a wave. So again here, turning it away from my face, twisting the flat iron twice, holding the hair, and then this time I'm just going about an inch from the bottom. Again on this side, using my thumb on the outside, twisting it around the flat iron twice, and then pulling it through to about an inch at the bottom. And as you can see, it's a very prominent curl. So again here, you can hold the hair if you want to, if it helps you to keep the hair in the flat iron. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the top and section it into three sections. So I have the sides down and then the top part I'm going to clip again. And then here, twisting it twice, pulling it through again nice and smooth. And then helping, oh, there's a little something in my hair. <laughs> but as you can see here, that curl is really nice. So, so bouncy. And then the top part, I go ahead and finish the rest of my hair, giving it some super bouncy curls. And then for my bangs, it's the same process. I just take it to the front, flat iron, and then start ironing it with some of the longer pieces to make it flow a lot better. Farrah Fawcett much. <laughs> 
And again, I like to use my hands to open up the curls. I don't really like to brush it out. Boom. Volume, shiny, super pretty. I love how this flat iron makes my hair look so shiny after using it. And it doesn't make it frizzy. And it also doesn't make it staticky. I like to tease it a little bit from the bottom, just a little bit to really pump it up. And then here, those flat pieces, I'm gonna take the flat iron again and just one turn, create these really soft waves from the top. So you can see the difference here. So once that is all done, I basically just run my fingers through my hair again and then sometimes if I want really big volume, I'll take that detangling brush and just puff up my hair. So there you can see so much body, super bouncy curls and kind of like a fair faucet bang going on. With this look, I like to go more glam. So I have this off the shoulder sweater. It's actually a ballet top that I've had for so long. And then this skirt here, this pleated skirt, it's been, I have had it in my closet for a while. It's from Forever 21. It's this really nice kind of like shimmery material. And then these nude heels that I got from, I think they are Steve Madden from Nordstrom. Now this outfit is great if you have an upcoming holiday party to go to and you want to dress sort of semi-formal. This is a dressed up look, but it's still very, very comfortable. If you can let me know down in the comment section below which hairstyle is your favorite. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.